I was telling you about the greenhouse gases. Okay, no combustion takes place in the process, meaning there is zero emission of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere because we are utilizing that methane for the another purpose, either energy uh, or we are converting it into heat or electricity. Is it so? There is no emission into the uh, atmosphere. Okay. Therefore, using gas from waste as a form of energy is actually a great way to combat the global warming. Okay, so that way we can say if there is an advantage, uh, this is the advantage of biogas energy. Second one advantage is the biogas generation reduces soil and water pollution. It is reducing the soil and water pollution. How it is reducing the soil and water pollution that we will see here, overflowing Landfills don't only spread foul smell, they also allow toxic liquids to drain into underground water sources. Okay, so uh, traditional way uh, to decompose uh, solid waste by the um, landfilling process is like this. Just take a pit into the, uh, excavate the pit, dump the material, Uh, into this material over here, uh, there will be a covering from the top side. Is it the covering from the top side? Then decomposition performs over here. And then during the decomposition process, a liquid, liquid waste is generating and that liquid is percolating towards the earth surface and polluting the groundwater. Whereas if we go for the biogas, there will not be provision to allow to leak the liquid, whatever liquid is generating, is it? So that's why uh, it is controlling the water pollution and along with this, it is also controlling the soil pollution. Do you understood? Understood? How the biogas generation reduces the soil and water pollution, okay? Overflowing, overflowing landfills don't only spread foul smells, they also allow toxic liquids to drain into underground water sources. Consequently, yet another advantage of biogas is that biogas generation may improve water quality. Okay. Moreover, anaerobic digestion deactivates pathogens and parasites. Thus, it's also quite effective in reducing the incidence of waterborne diseases. Similarly, waste collection and management significantly improve in areas with biogas plants. This in turn leads to improvements in the environment, sanitation and hygiene. Is it? So these are the different benefits. Uh, these are the different ways through which we are getting the benefits from the biogas plant. So what is the third advantage? Third advantage is the Biogas generation produces organic fertilizer. I told you, uh, uh, along with this figure, I told you, this will be the mass, outlet mass will be available over here. And that mass will be a decomposed organic waste material. And this can be used as a fertilizer, as a manure for the agricultural area. Okay, so that way, this is, we have improved that this is having Biogas generation produces the organic fertilizer. The byproduct of biogas generation process is enriched organic, which is a perfect supplement to our substitute for chemical fertilizer. Okay, whenever we use the chemical fertilizers, there is a chance to have the um, uh, ill effects on the soil as well as ill effects on the crop or the productions of that particular crop. Instead of that, if we go for the biofertilizers like this, it will give the better results, okay? The fertilizer discharges from the digester can accelerate plant growth and resilience to disease. Whereas commercial fertilizer contains chemicals that have toxic effects and can cause food poisoning among the things. So this way, many different advantages are there with this type of technology for the disposal of solid waste. Okay, one more advantage 
we will discuss that is the so simple technique low cost technique one time investment is there and simply there is no requirement of having the super skilled person to operate the uh, this technology okay so that's why this is very simple technology and low cost technology and this uh, thing will encourage a circular economy amongst us okay and uh, it, so it is having healthy cooking alternative for the developing areas okay uh, you may be knowing about that in the developing area uh, where there is no sufficient uh, developments yet done in that area there is the provision for the uh, uh, to use the wood as a fuel is it they are using wood as a fuel chula okay and uh, this is not definitely effective technology this is a this is damaging environment this is harming to the people who are handling instead of that if you go with this technology it will save your women children from the uh, these kinds of firewood firewood collections and the, uh, the emissions when firewood uh, burning is performing okay so as a result uh, more time is left over for cooking and clean okay so this is also one of the biggest advantage of biogas plant now we will see disadvantages of the biogas plant okay so this is the few technological advancements and unfortunate uh, disadvantage of biogas is uh, it contains the impurities the gas whatever is the gas as a output it contains the impurities and because of the impurities in that uh, Uh, it's a calorific value is less, and because of the calorific value is less, it takes a lot of time to cook the food, is it? So that is one of the advantage. And if at all you want to improve its calorific value, you need to go for the purification. And again, purification takes a time. Okay. Then uh, this uh, system, this technology is very sensitive with the temperature as well as with pH of the uh, feed. and it gets disturbed if the ph of the feed getting changed so if you want to reset it it takes a lot of time okay this is another disadvantage major disadvantage of this technology then uh, 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 this technology is it requires a uh, area bigger area and uh, hence it will not be suitable for the dense cities or the metropolitan uh cities where the population or the crowdness is very high is it so these are the various advantages of or disadvantages of this technology okay so please note down this and then we'll uh, hear uh, your chapter number 3 is getting over if you have any problem in the chapter number 3 you can ask me otherwise we will start the chapter number 4 so initial chapters are very small small chapter at all the syllabus of this subject is very uh, less so you can check it just ask me any question if you how in the chapter number 3 shall we read it the syllabus you complete this uh, slide first and then we will re go to read the syllabus if you want
over. Will uh, I will show you once again the syllabus of this chapter. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. So this is the syllabus of this chapter number three. Theory of composting. We have discussed what is mean by composting. Then types of composting. There are different types of composting. That is indoor method, window method, Bangalore method, and the method. Is it vessel method, mechanical method? These are the various types of composting. Then what are the factors affecting or governing the composting process? That also we have discussed, is it? Then uh, recovery of biogas energy from the organic solid waste. Since yesterday we are studying about the recovery of biogas energy from the organic waste. So this chapter is over here. Is there any problem? I have provided the MCQ sets. I have provided the uh, PPTs, uh, video lectures. Uh, on the link uh, uh, created by the Bhagal Madam. So you people can follow uh, follow that. Okay. If there is no question, I will close this. I will stop uh, the meeting and uh, I request you everybody to re uh, get reconnected because uh, next chapter video, I can upload it in the next chapters. Okay, so please, I will stop it here.